Quick tutorials. We don't waste time. So let's say you get a gig editing at some big post-production house and everything's great. They pay you $500 a day, they feed you donuts, they let you read it all day, all that good stuff. But there's one catch. You have this boss that's really freaking anal. I mean, like, he legit wants to sit over your shoulder and watch you edit because at 50 years old and in an executive position, he doesn't have shit else to do other than critique you, even though they're paying you because you know how to do this. F*** that guy. Anyways, he's an asshole. So, impress him with your editing mastery by using shortcuts. Let us begin. Don't go back and forth like an idiot between this toolbar on the right. Just ignore this and learn your shortcuts and you'll save yourself so much time. C to cut. This one I use the most. On a side note, when you chip a chunk of footage out, just disable it by unchecking enable instead of deleting it so you're not screwed later. V takes you back to the little pointy guy where you can drag things around. Control C and Control V are universal copy and paste commands. Control X is cut, but I often copy a segment in Premiere and open After Effects and paste it into a timeline, and it saves me so much time. I recommend Adobe products because they all work together well like that. But if you want to edit the entire Premiere sequence in After Effects, just right click and go here at the bottom. Huge time saver, and it edits live. Let's say you drop a clip in here, but it's a tad short. Press X for rate stretch and slide it over. Super helpful. If you want to bring in a video of horses and it's too big or too small, right click and scale to comp size. CS6 will notify you if these don't match, but for older versions, make sure your sequence settings and your video source files match, which is frame rate and resolution. Editing and rendering will be much faster if you do this. If you want to slide an entire track over, press A to select it. If you want to slide everything over, press A and hold shift at the same time to select everything to the right of the arrow. Audio has a weird buzz to it? Drop denoiser over it and get rid of those weird fuzzies. If you bring in footage from a DSLR, in Final Cut, all professional places transcode this footage into something less compressed like Apple ProRes 422 before working with it. So if you don't do that, that's a noob mistake. But if you have Premiere, it does it automatically for you, lol lol lol. Avid's equivalent of this is DNX HD, by the way. Yeah, so my biggest tip for editors, especially if you're working uh, in front of people and sharing your project, stay organized. See, we have these cute little folders up here. I have projects and materials and zipples and sealed. That's why I keep getting work. So uh, stick to that and get in the habit of it and you'll save yourself a lot of time. Honestly, this is what happens. You go, oh, I'm only going to need one title. I'll just call it Ask of the. Oh, <laughs> oops, guess I need a second title. We'll call that Ask of the. And then you go, oh, oops, turns out I need a third one. We'll call it Ask of the. And then you have Ask of the. Let's go together. Let's go together. Until you have an entire Elvish encyclopedia up here. Don't do that. It doesn't serve you any purpose and it wastes everybody's time. It makes you look sloppy. If you have some suggestions for quick tips, uh, comment below and I can throw them in the next video. You'll get credit, of course. This has been a quick tutorial. My name is Alex Harris.